So we may have some limits on what we can use in terms of font family, but we can do some other things with that. So I'm going to go ahead and mind you when I'm using um, Webbug or sorry, uh, Firebug, this will only affect the page. It will not actually affect the CSS. So when I'm done with this, it's good for tweaking and experimenting. But if I really want changes, I have to change the CSS here. It's just going to be some experimentation. But let's experiment with what we can do with, say, with um, this, with our link. Um, in here and that's the red a so right now all we've done is change the color um, let's um, add a new property uh, I um, would like this to be italicized unlike uh, HTML we actually can talk about the italics and say font style note that because it's um, uh, that firebug kind of fills that in for me and I can use the up and down arrows here to see all the different possibilities um, and I'm going to use italic. So italic italicized things. Oblique isn't as widely supported, but basically font style is for having something be italic or non-italic. Uh, again, just to go look down here, address by default italicizes things, but I can go in and tell it to say font style normal and it will get rid of that, those italics. Um, what else can we do with this? Well, um, I'll, I have to admit that um, I'm not a big fan of underlining for uh, for links. So often I will um, get rid of that by using text decoration. And again, it'll give us some options. None, which is what I use. Uh, by default, it is underlined. Um, there's an overline, which some people actually do use, or a line through, which doesn't make any sense for a, a, a thing. And blink, which you should never, ever use. Uh, but we can do a none. Um, what else can we do? Uh, let's let's do this on another section. Let's do this down on on the address. The other thing we can do is we can actually adjust the size. Uh, so let's do font size. Now the the recommended um, unit for doing font size. There's lots of units that are supported. For example, we could do 0 0.8 inches, um, and it will make these uh, an eighth of an inch high or at least try to approximate that, but nobody ever uses inches here. The recommended use is M. <clears throat> M is a um, is the length of a single letter M, um, which seems a little bit obscure, but basically what it says is point zero point eight M is 80% of the normal um, size of the page. And the reason that we use M's is that way when we make things bigger or smaller, right now I'm holding the control and using the, the wheel, which is uh, one way to adjust font size, or page size. Um, some browsers handle this differently, but some will really break if you have, say, eight pixels there. Um, you need to use the M so that it will keep everything working when you resize the screen or resize the, um, the font size. And since lots of people do that, I do that consistently. Um, and some people set the default font much larger on their screen. Um, either because they, they have difficulty seeing or, for example, I have a, a browser on my television and so the fonts are very large and I can see very quickly which web designers designed well and which ones really messed up their screens because I'll go to some websites and they just won't work because of my big fonts. All right, um, I think font, let's see, we did font style and font size. We didn't do font weight. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick uh, font weight on this one. Font weight um, is for making things bold. And in fact, you have bold, bolder, lighter, and you'll see that it's not really changing. The on only ones that are really widely supported are normal and bold. Although you can actually put like 900, which is super bold, but nobody, no browsers actually do that for you. So the ones you should probably stick with there are bold and normal. All right, um, we have some other things we can do and we'll do that in the next section.